So we wanna do a tile backsplash here in our kitchen. And you'll probably like a lot of people, we wanna pick out a tile and get a look and feel for it and all the different lights in the kitchen and whatnot. And you know, it can be hard to do because you might only have a small section. Um, you know, we've got, there's paint up on the wall here. So how do we like try to block that out in our mind's eye? We wanna see how it looks against the counter, the cabinets, etc. cetera. Um, so I came up with this idea. We've got the tile that we think we're gonna like. Um, and I'm gonna use some sticky tack to sort of gently put a bunch of pieces up uh, so we can see how it looks. And then my hope is that we can still take them down. And if we decide to go with something else, I can return them all. Um, you know, I thought about gluing them down on like a piece of uh, plywood or something and then taking that plywood around to different parts of the kitchen. Um, but I think this is gonna work well. So um, I've got the tile, I've got some sticky tack as well as some extra. So uh, let's get going. I'm gonna put it up and then we'll be able to see how it looks. So you can see that this process worked great. The tile sticks up easily and stays up for days, possibly even weeks. It gave us plenty of time to decide what we wanted. Uh, I was able to remove the tiles easily later, take any residual sticky tack off, and return the tiles to a store for a full refund. I'll show you briefly how I did it. So all I do is take the sticky tack, put two globs of it down, push it down, and then lift it up and put it into place. And then where I want, and then press it into the wall, maybe jiggle it a little bit. Yeah. Easy as that. And that really gives a good sense for what that'll be like. We can try it with different lighting conditions. Get a feel for what that would look like. You can step back from a distance, try to visualize it. Well, that is a really slick method. I'm pretty happy. We'll have to see if we end up going with this. The tile that you saw me put up with sticky tack actually wasn't the one that we ended up going with. We ended up going with a fairly traditional white subway tile that you see here. The first tile that I put up doesn't have perfectly straight edges, and so there would have ended up being fairly thick grout lines that we wouldn't have liked. Also, the grout color would have stood out because of the differences in the tile color. So we went with the white subway tile and white grout. Here are photos of the install. This was not a DIY project. It's in too important of a place in the house, and I've never done tile work before. This wall went pretty quick. This is above the stove, and they're putting up the design element that will be a picture frame made up of trim pieces with the same subway tile but in a herringbone pattern in the center. This is a fairly typical kind of design element, uh, but we really, really like it. This small area took the installers a little bit of time. They put trim pieces at the edge of the wall and cut the tiles to fit around the receptacle and switches. After all the tile was installed, grouted, and siliconed, here's how everything came out. The crew of three guys finished everything in one day, which was awesome. It's a nice, finished, clean look. We also painted the bottom of the cabinets white, and overall we are really happy with how this came out.